Howdy people, I am out here gardening and I have such a mess on my hands in so many ways. So last year along with gardening, I tried learning how to compost and then after the gardening season, I like totally quit composting. So now I've got that funky mess of stuff and I've got to figure out what to do with it. Um, meanwhile, here in the garden bed. Um, basically, at the end of the gardening season last year, I was so burnt out that I just left everything. <sighs> and so most of it was just like dead stuff like this. Like that's the old pumpkin from last year. So I got in here this afternoon and I'm so happy that it was warmer today and there's a nice little breeze going. So it's like perfect, perfect gardening weather. Um, I started putting some new soil in here, but like I need more soil, like I'm so behind. I don't have supplies and things I need, so I'm freaking out a little bit. Um, cool things, I got this little parsley right here. The parsley came back. And over there, there's tons of tiny little flowers popping up. Those are marigolds. And this lovely sage right here. This one is like, it came back. And it smells so great. I love the smell of sage. Um, but yeah, I don't know why that came back on its own. I guess it just comes back. So, um, planning uh, as far as this season, I have tomatoes sprouting already. I gave up on my lettuce. I killed the spinach. <laughs> I didn't plant as much this year as I did last year. Um, on purpose because it was just a lot to maintain. Um, I, what else, what else, what else? Oh, I just uh, planted the summer squash and I'm about to do cucumbers. Um, so yeah, I'm, and I'm gonna plant uh, uh, carrots, hopefully like this week. Uh, we're about to finish our last week of homeschool, which is awesome. Um, other things, butterfly garden. I got a cute little sign. And this was also another super neglected area. But look at like nature takes care of itself. Like these are wildflowers regrowing from what we had going on last year. And I think the reason they were able to grow and pop up so soon and survive is because these leaves help keep this part of the ground warm, which is awesome. So, hey, you know, nature takes care of itself. And uh, I'm looking forward, I, I have planted marigolds over there, I've planted new wild uh, um, wildflower seeds, and I've got wildflower seeds going in several places. I have always wanted to do pollinator gardens, and this past year I have especially developed a love of, a love for the bees and the pollinators. So here we go, I'm doing this again. Um, I would like to try to do a year-round garden, but I don't know how to do that here in Colorado. Uh, I'm also trying to look into doing gardening. <sighs> I can't remember the term of it right now, but it's from the movie Kiss the Ground. They talk about a particular way of gardening to where your plants are just regenerating themselves and they're actually helping to produce really good soil. And so I'm kind of fascinated by the concept of just um, basically you're planting things that are, that are gonna help each other out with the nutrients in the ground. And it, you know, just, shoot, just, um, you know, really uh, coming alongside nature. Instead of trying to do it like a traditional gardening way, coming alongside nature and figuring out what works best with nature uh, as far as planting things that will nourish each other. Well, oh, first butterfly of the season. Um, and then just also trying to create soil that is just nutritious from year to year. So I don't want to disturb my garden bed every year and pull out the, the, oh my gosh, what's it called? The, 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 the organisms that are in there that are naturally already helping to produce a really good soil. So I'm going to spend more time nerding out and learning about that this year. And I think it'll actually take me, if I garden consistently, I think it's gonna take me a few years to really find a groove of what I like to do, getting the kinds of plants I like going. 
I liked green beans. I liked green beans and peas a lot. I liked strawberries a lot. Did those last year as well. But you know what I didn't like is that you had to plant a bunch of the plant to get a significant yield. Um, I m want to build like cool teepees and grow teepees out of like huge pieces of wood and then grow a bunch of green beans that way. But I'm not ready for that yet. I'm gonna stick to the cucumbers, zucchini, uh, uh, tomato, and try to get the hang of some dang lettuce. My gosh. So that's it for now. TTFN, ta-ta for now. And I'll see y'all when it, as it continues to get warmer, I think we have a couple, <laughs> a couple more times of snow out here, but in a few weeks, everything is just full on getting in the garden bed, being out here a lot, making sure my kids are outside more. So yeah, let's do this. Happy spring.